Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. It has been a beautiful Tuesday in the Inland Northwest. Despite the fact that it was running about 10 degrees below average, we were 10 degrees below average this morning, bottomed out in the lower 30s. Today's high is only in the mid 50s. Uh, I didn't hear any complaints in the afternoon. Wasn't too pleased this morning when uh, let the dogs out and we're gonna be cold again tomorrow morning. Here are four things to know about your weather. It is another cold night ahead. We have a freeze warning for tonight through Wednesday morning. Overnight lows getting down below freezing in many locations. It'll be a cool but sunny Wednesday. In fact, a day very much like Tuesday. Uh, we'll see some cumulus building up in the afternoon, fair weather cumulus and um, High temperatures will be in the 50s and lower 60s. I think we'll be just a little bit warmer. Showers coming in late Thursday. And then um, I did make some amendments to the weekend forecast. You can't count on a weekend forecast in the spring on a Monday. It already has changed. Probably changed a couple more times before the weekend gets here. It is only Tuesday after all. Here is the freeze warning for tonight through tomorrow morning. I think this will be the last um, night, I, I wouldn't say for the rest of the season just yet, but this will be the last night for a while where, we're, where we will be looking at temperatures uh, below freezing. We've got some slightly warmer nights ahead and then some much warmer nights ahead. Um, we're in a northerly flow over the northwest. We've got this upper level trough in place and we're not completely dry across the region. There's those instability showers, very hit and miss over the higher terrain and may see those again on Wednesday. Here's your 24 hour forecast. Um, but for the most part tomorrow, we're gonna be looking to the west at a rather vigorous cold front that is going to bring a drop in our temperatures. <laughs> Not that I could to drop even more uh, our daytime highs uh, for Thursday and Friday. And then uh, we'll start to warm up a little bit next week. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, big news tonight is the overnight lows. We'll be down at 31 in Spokane, uh, mid 30s in many locations, 32 in Sandpoint, 29 in Deer Park. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the 50s and 60s, 62 in Spokane Valley, out at the airport in Spokane, 59. So upper 50s, lower 60s. And then that rain comes in uh, late in the day on Thursday continues through early morning Friday, but I think most of Friday will be dry. It's going to be a cool and breezy day um, and then keeping the chance of showers going in the mountains through the day on Friday. Chance of rain returning on Saturday right now, about a 40% chance. And then it looks like we're going to warm up a little bit Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I see a little bit. Um, I think Sunday will peak at 66 and then cool down and then stay cool. All those long range models looking eight to 14 days still calling for below average temperatures, above average precipitation. So a cool and showery as we head toward the end of, or almost toward the end of May. Um, I just ran a quick diagnostic on how cool this spring has been so far, meteorological spring, um, looking at March, April. We know April was the seventh coolest spring on record in Spokane, and March was above average in the night, the first 10 days of May, and ran that. But we're like the, the 47th coolest <laughs> spring. So I guess we're not gonna feel too bad about how cool it's been, even though I am, certainly ready for some warmer spring weather. Um, we've had much cooler springs and uh, you know, it'll get here eventually, right? Everybody I seem to talk to has a feeling that something is gonna switch in June and we're gonna go from this kind of cool showery May to scorching, unseasonably warm weather. Um, Let's hope that we can just ease on into a pleasant summer.
uh, with no wildfires. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll uh, see you back here tomorrow.